The last hike of the year is always so bittersweet because the trees and the plants are so beautiful, but you know exactly what's coming around the corner, the bitter cold winter, and you won't be able to hike for a very long time. So in this video, I filmed some of our hike, but also the different foods I prepped for the trip and how I will be eating to fuel my hikes. So for anybody who's interested in a whole food plant-based lifestyle, but is having difficulties figuring out how to maintain that lifestyle while traveling, this is a very helpful video. Okay, so this is the teff and red lentils. And as you can see, it is really soupy, but that's just the way I like it. Because if you just stir it around a little bit, it will start to dissipate and kind of become a nicer consistency. And then eventually when it cools, it will harden and just be a nice grain lentil mixture to add to really any dish. But I'm gonna add it to sweet potatoes and black beans. You can use teff as like a porridge or more of like a cereal grain. I like it as a porridge, nice and creamy. And I love to layer my veggies for when I'm traveling. So there's just a layer of veggies with some pepper and some Mrs. Dash. And then I'm gonna add the rest of this and the rest of the seasoning. And then it's just ready to eat right out of the dish. And it's even super good cold. There we go. And I actually made two of these for our trip this weekend. So there's my steamed veggies. I'm super strategic about the way I pack my food because I like to be able to just grab it out of the insulated totes behind my seat while we're driving and just eat my meal as opposed to having to stop the vehicle and find a place to eat and deal with taking more time out of our trip. Our drive is already four hours long and we're only gone for the weekend. So I wanna make this as efficient as possible without driving my boyfriend insane. So this is my little process. <laughs> Oh yeah, that might be nice to have, huh? So Granddad Bluff is actually my favorite new place to hike after this trip because it's like a brand new park. It was only built three years ago and the scenery is just gorgeous. So we hiked for about two and a half hours this first day and then went and checked into our hotel. So if anybody's ever been in the La Crosse area in Wisconsin, you know how beautiful these bluffs are, but I'll give you a little sneak peek just in case. Mm, look at all the pretty fall colors starting to come through. already becoming my favorite. <laughs> I like the way they did the trails. <laughs> I like all those cautionary signs. <laughs> I know how difficult it is to see this incline, but just picture like the Rocky Mountains or like oh. practically straight up and down we were going around these ledges. So Justin has a very physical job and I have a very standard desk job. So when we get together on these weekend hikes, he is exhausted and I'm like, yes, I finally get to move. So we kind of come to a compromise when we are hiking because he was very frustrated with me because I took us down a path that he thought was going to be a lot shorter and it ended up being a lot longer. So we are just um, sweaty and ready to get back to our hotel. All right, we got a sink. Fridge, microwave, that is all I need. But this isn't bad. And yes, we, <laughs> total impulse buy with some throw rugs that we will be putting in our home. When in Rome. All right, so we didn't bring the cooler on this four hour drive. I just have these three bags. 
And then I also had another one for my daughter's stuff, but we dropped her off at grandma's. So this is just fruit and stuff for salads. Tomatoes are in there somewhere. Some seasonings, my vinegar. I ate a ton of food on the way up here. So this is mostly empty, but there's still some strawberries, some beans. Uh, I think this is millet with lentils. There were some grapes and uh, I think that's it for that one. This one, more veggies, my salad, my beans. This is tough with uh, red lentils. And down there is the sweet potatoes. All right, so I got these handy dandy freezer packs to keep our stuff cool. And unfortunately we don't have a full fridge, but I'm gonna try to stuff them all in this little freezer compartment and keep them cold for when we leave on Sunday. Oh my God, you guys. I don't even know how much weight I've gained, <laughs> but it feels like a lot. But I haven't stepped on the scale, so I have no idea how much. So this is supposedly going to get my health back. <laughs> Total opposite to everything that I thought was supposed to happen when you are trying to be healthy. Apparently there are some instances when you're supposed to gain weight and I'm in that weird <laughs> circumstance where this is a positive thing. And no, there is not a baby in there. Just a food baby. Hmm. Gotta stay positive. Gotta make a joke out of it. Otherwise I'll go a little insane with the anxiety and the discomfort. It's not so bad. Hopefully I don't have to gain too much more before, um, you know, my health comes back along with my period and my sanity <laughs> and all that good stuff. And if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, I have what is called hypothalamic amenorrhea or relative energy deficiency in sport along with the AJ. So I haven't had a period in like five years and apparently intermittent fasting and exercising fasted and eating super low calorie foods. Honestly, I just love fruits and vegetables and unfortunately that's, um, not always helpful when you're a woman and I have to change some of my habits to oh, get my life back together and to get my health back together. So that's why I'm gaining weight. Um, if you haven't seen my other videos, be sure to check those out because I know it's super confusing why somebody would want to gain weight, especially when my channel has been all about weight loss for all these years. But um, yeah. So I gotta get in the shower and we might have some dinner and chill in the jacuzzi. Oh, that sounds so nice before we go on another big hike tomorrow. We only did like maybe two hours today. So it was a pretty short hike. Um, we've been in the car all day, so that was that was just fine. But tomorrow will be our, uh, our big one. All right, so just so you see everything that I still have for the remainder of the weekend, I have my salad and it's upside down right now because I put a paper towel to soak up all the condensation while it is chilling in the fridge. And then back here, I have my steamed veggies for the morning. For anyone who's unfamiliar with hypothalamic amenorrhea, you actually have to eat an abundance of calories. So I have already eaten the majority of the food that I packed for this trip because I am unconditionally listening to my hunger signals to let my body know that it's safe <laughs> and that um, it's going to be getting food regularly. Um, I was practicing a lot of weight loss behaviors and a lot of typical diet culture behaviors that really screwed up my metabolism. And now you will see on this trip, the unbelievable amount of food that I'm eating. All of this is for me. Like my boyfriend doesn't touch this stuff because I eat it too quickly for him to get hands on it. So I just thought I would um, mention the type of situation I'm in. Like this amount of food is not necessary for somebody who is not undergoing the sort of health condition that I am experiencing right now. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at all of this food and all of these calories, because we actually also went out to eat twice on this trip. So all the food that you see in front of you is only a portion of um, what I actually was ingesting. 
So for anybody who's new to my channel, prior to coming across this diagnosis with uh, red S or hypophthalmic amenorrhea, I was practicing intermittent fasting to the point where I wouldn't eat till typically about nine o'clock in the morning until three o'clock in the afternoon. But now that I have HA, I have to eat first thing in the morning. It's about 5.30 right now and I am like trying to stomach this meal. <laughs> And then you literally have to continue eating every couple of hours throughout the day until uh, you go to bed. So it's very different from my norm, but I'm gonna suck it up for this point in my life because I really wanted to go do some weightlifting early this morning as counterindicated as that is for my condition because I am at this hotel and I do have a gym at my disposal and old habits do die hard. So I kept it light and then had that much larger meal before leaving and going on my second hiking trip, which I actually had to do by myself this day because my boyfriend was very tired and he had a lot of homework to complete prior to the work week. So it was rather rainy this day, but it was still super pretty and I'm really glad that I had this opportunity to sneak one more hike in before the end of the year. yet but it's definitely a lot of thunder oh. what is that okay now it's definitely raining so I'm going to get back to the truck <laughs> as quickly as I can and probably rest the rest of the day um, and maybe some sushi tonight there are bears in uh, northern Wisconsin and some parts of middle Wisconsin. So, just putting things into perspective. <laughs> oh, it's just beautiful out here though. When I was at the top of the peak of um, Granddad's Peak, or Granddad's Bluff, there was this sweet couple that got engaged and the guy was like super embarrassed because there were all these strangers around. So he was really quiet when he was doing it and you could just tell because all of a sudden she was talking about the ring and how excited she was and everybody turned and congratulated them. I wish I would have got it on film, but oh, it was a very, very sweet moment. Anyway, I'm gonna focus on not sliding down these muddy trails and <laughs> I might catch up with you guys later. I um, know I shouldn't be hiking right now. I'm supposed to be resting, but this is likely our last hike of the year. So, I don't always do what's best for me. I'm sure some people can relate to that. So here I am, um, but definitely gonna take tomorrow off, obviously, because it's a travel day. We'll be traveling at least four or four and a half hours home after we pick up the munchkin at grandma's. So yeah, I'll rest tomorrow. I had stored in the fridge at the hotel and going out and eating tons of vegan sushi with edamame and extra rice. We even went to the grocery store <laughs> so I could pick up more food. So I found this great soup. I was so impressed. It had very few ingredients that I wasn't um, happy with. And I had my squash that I cooked in this microwave. Very simple and it actually comes out super tasty. So for anybody who's ever in a bind, this is a very doable lifestyle. And I probably ate 
the majority of those bananas and there were some grapes that I also um, got that were in the refrigerator. So the next morning I was able to take with me all of the squash and the bananas and the grapes to keep me satisfied for our morning trip home. I hope this video was helpful and I hope it gives you some insight as to how you can plan your next vacation and I will see you guys in the next video.